Hello everybody. Previously we discussed about octave one by one bands. Today I'm going to explain and demonstrate what are octave one third bands. Now octave one third bands are similar to octave one by one bands except that they offer a higher frequency resolution or a higher spectral resolution. Now let's consider an octave one by one band. This is how it looks like. It has the level along the y-axis and the frequency along the x-axis. Now you can see here there are many uh, uh, frequency blocks uh, frequency bands. Now if you uh, divide each of these frequency bands into three equal parts, meaning considering this band you divide it into three equal parts and so on and so forth, you get the octave one-third band because you have divided each uh, octave one band into three equal parts. And when you divide so, you will get something like this. So this is the octave one-third band. As you can observe here, each frequency band has three small bands. Now they're the individual bands. Now there are certain advantages in this kind of uh, bands. You know, like the first advantage being like you can pinpoint a particular frequency, which you can do it right here. That is the reason why this has a higher spectral resolution. You can actually zoom in. You can literally zoom in in one particular band and you can see, you know, like a higher resolution. You can see three bands right now. For example, consider this 125 hertz band. The 125 hertz band has an upper frequency limit of 160 hertz. You can observe here, this is popping up. Whereas here, you cannot observe, you know, particularly. You can just see a 125 hertz band popping up. So, one of the major advantages here is like you can pinpoint to a particular frequency. Not very accurately, but like at least, you know, better than octave 1 by 1 bands. Octave one, uh, octave one third bands finds uh, good applications in various disciples of engineering, automotive, architectural. Uh, one of the advantages being that it's able to pinpoint, you know, particular frequency. So it's, you know, providing a good spectral resolution and not consuming lots of data. Obviously, it's consuming more data than octave one bands because it has higher resolution. But still, you know, consuming the data, it still gives a good spectral resolution. Another advantage with uh, octave one third band is like it's closely related to the human perception of sound. So that's also a good thing, to, you know, to solve problems, especially where humans are involved. All right, now let's get to the math. Now we're going to determine uh, what are the center frequencies and the upper and the lower limit for each band. Now, there is an equation for that. So the center frequency of next band is 2 power 1 by n times center frequency of previous band. Now all you have to do, since uh, you're considering octave, one third octave, you put n is equals 3. So you just plug in the equation and you will get the center frequencies. So I have not mentioned all the center frequencies, but I've just mentioned the ones that are similar to the octave 1 by 1 bands. Alright, now let's consider uh, what are the upper and the lower limits. The upper and the lower limits are given by this equation. Again, same, just put n equals 3 because we're considering octave one third band and you plug in the values and you get the upper and the lower limit for a given center frequency. Now, these values are, uh, there are a lot of values because there are 32 bands, 32 center frequencies. I've uh, included all the tables in, in the link in the description below. So check it out. All right, now I'm going to demonstrate how the octave one third band looks like uh, when I'm speaking in real time. Hello there, this is the one third uh, octave band real time app. So as I'm speaking, it's uh, tracking all the bands all the way from 31.5 hertz to 16,000 hertz. So this represents the upper limit and these are the frequencies just as we saw here. So, and another feature is you can just simply tap on and look at the overall level, whatever level is picking up. So, this is how an octave or one third band looks like. You can have a greater frequency detail and frequency resolution, better than the octave one by one. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.